Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the November Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Let me know how you do, how you know, if you had any issue with this one. Today's poem is 721 Accounts Merge. Okay, we'll see what this poem is. I am usually solving these lives, so if it's a little bit slow, just fast forward, whatever you need to do. Uh, okay. So you give an account, and accounts of I is a list of strings, okay? Two, if that's the same, some common, you may both accounts. So if, if two accounts are the same name, they may belong to different people as they could, what? Okay. Well, the account definitely say what again? Okay, so you have... Okay, let me try to read it again. Okay, so... After merging the account, we turn the first element. What? Okay, so you, you you have these accounts, and then okay, you would like to merge if there's some email that is the same. And in this case, this is here. Okay, um, and then just combine these. Okay, uh, and it's in sorted order. Okay, um, hmm. So the first thing that I would think about is maybe some sort of union find type thing. Um, and then, you know, doing a lookup on it, even if they have different name. Can there be two Johns? Oh, there can be two Johns. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm, I'm, uh, right now I'm just thinking about the complexity and how to do it, but the, each one can only have, or at most have 10 accounts, so it's not actually that bad. Um, oh, sorry, no, that's the length of an account. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, only, each one have, have only 10 accounts, so even if you do it greedy, or not greedy, naive, um, it'll probably be too slow, but it'll be almost fast enough. Not really, but almost. Um, basically, because that would be a thousand square times ten square times thirty, so that's like three billion or something like that. Um, yeah, but like within the realms of some optimization, um, yeah. I mean, the thing that I would think about is maybe just hashing it. Um, I think mean, hashing is a, a very basic thing as well. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think we just need. Hashing is just give us a lookup table, um, and I think that will be fine. So that's so this is becomes a more of a implementation problem, and I don't think it'll be too difficult um, in terms of you know we just have to kind of do it deliberately and make sure every step of the way we're 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 deliberate about um, how long like how much time that we get to spend in terms of uh, complexity, right? Um, okay, so let's let's look. So for each account. Um, okay, so for name, uh, 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 this is such a naming things is hard for name. Let's just say acts in accounts. Um, let's actually enumerate this as well so that we get an index out of this. Right. Um, okay. So what, what, what do we want? So for each account, we want to map each account to the index. We don't actually really care about the name, though we do need it at some point in the future. Right? Eh, maybe. We could do it a couple of ways, so I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see for a sec. Um, oh, actually, this is, the, the format is a little bit different. Okay, so actually, this is a little bit wrong. Um, maybe, uh, okay. So name is, name West is, how do I do this? Is it something like this? I forget how, how you do like the West in here or something. Uh, I think that's right. Uh, it's been a while since I use syntax like this, but, but uh, okay. So that's right. So that is the syntax. Um, though of course you could have also just when something more deliberately like this, and uh, or something like that, right? It's the same idea. 
Um, hmm. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay. So then now for uh, emails, I guess this is emails, right? So then for email in emails, we just have a lookup table, right? Uh, yeah, let's see. How do we want to think about the lookup table? Okay, I mean, we just have a lookup table and then we check if it exists. If it already exists, then, then we should merge it. Um, I wonder if there's anything about like different periods or something like that, but I guess not. Um, so basically the idea here is if email in lookup um, Hmm, let's see. I, I just want to be make sure that I'm very deliberate about it. So, okay, if email is not in lookup, then obviously we'll just do lookup of email is equal to index. Um, else, what we want to do is do something like we want a union um, lookup sub email and index, right? We want to put them in the same union, and that's not that bad. Yeah, and then now we, of course we have to implement union fine. So I just have a parent is equal to. Mm, we could use the array version of it. And this is very basic union fine stuff. Uh, I I like to I don't know I I do the same thing mostly every time. So yeah. Right. As I said that I, I I realized I just uh got that wrong. That would be annoying to debug, but uh yeah. Okay, right? And that, then after that we union uh the two indexes because they're the same email and that's pretty much the idea. That's pretty much it really. Um, we might ha we have to do some sorting at the end, but I think that's should be good enough. Um, and then name with, but all the accounts have the same name. Okay, that's that's good. I was wondering how to do the tiebreaker on accounts, but uh, but yeah. And then now we just do for i to n. If you find if i is equal to i, that means that this is the root of the the union fine. Then. Um, then okay, actually, let's put enter. We have this weird array format. So if that's the case, we first get the name, which is account sub i sub zero, um, and then we get the rest of the emails, right? Oh, hmm. I guess we don't really put in the u emails yet. Okay, fine. Let let's. Uh, I did it in a maybe suboptimal order, but okay. Let's just have a emails array. Right, and then, um, hmm, how do we want to write this part? We'll, we'll, we'll need this later anyway, so I'll, I'll put it in the back. But basically, we want to write this loop again, so I guess we just do it. Um, I guess we have to D2, but hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. Um, okay, so in this case, what do we want? Um, hmm. Eh, okay, I mean, it's just annoying to write. I'm, I'm just trying to think about what, what is the cleanest way to write it a little bit, but maybe that's fine. Maybe we just do it again. Um, down, and, may, and maybe there's a better way to clean this, um, but you know, maybe later. Uh, okay, and then now we do. Okay, so let's just say we have emails. Um, of let's just put in a dictionary, a hash table. Uh, we want it to be a set, right? 
so then we want for email and emails um oh what the uh, uh, naming things is hard so all emails say all emails sub index or uh, sub you find of index whoops almost messed up there uh add emails right add email um and this could actually be hmm. yeah i mean that's good enough for now i mean we could clean that up a little bit to be make it one line or something but, but yeah and then now we just do the same thing but all emails up i um yeah so we just go also put in a sorted set but that's fine um i think maybe I, I might have to convert it to list i don't remember if i do Uh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, maybe if I can actually just write something like that, right? Move this down where where we use it, and then let's give it some spin. Let's give it a spin, and then see if that is okay. Oh, I might have to. Oh no, I did sort. I was gonna say I might have to sort it. Okay, so that looks good. Um, so I think I'm happy to just give it a submit. I don't know if there are any edge cases that I might not have considered. Um, but yeah, let's just give it a submit then. I haven't done this problem before apparently. One of the rare ones I haven't done this month. I mean, I don't know. They, I don't want to sign the problems, right? So, okay. So, yeah, today's streak is 608. Um, get accepted. Yay. Um, let's see. What's the complexity, right? Uh, I mean, it's going to be linear in the size of the input. Um, the reason I said that is because I don't really have, you know, because for, I mean, we, we can go, with, uh, and that's assuming that you find a new union is constant, uh, which, you know, there's some nuance there. I'm not going to get into it now. Um, but, but, yeah, this is, this is a double loop, but if you think about it, every email that's in the original list gets processed once. So this is linear because every email gets processed once, and this is linear because every email gets processed once, and this is an over one operation. Um, and then here again, oh, there is a sorting here, I forgot. So maybe this isn't linear, whoops. Um, so then this is, I guess this is roughly speaking n log n then, uh, because in the worst case, for example, if all the emails all belong to one person, we would have to sort it. So that's going to be n log n. Um, I, I was totally wrong about linear. I just missed this part, actually. Well, I forgot about it. Um, yeah. Uh, so, and in terms of space, this is also, this is actually linear because we just, you know, there's one entry for each uh, email um, in in the lookup and there's one entry per account in in parent so this is going to be linear in the sense of all of n plus e where you use the number of emails and n is the number of accounts or something like that um but yeah uh that's all i have for this one i believe uh let me know what you think yeah maybe that's why i have for this one i mean it's pretty straightforward once you realize what you want to do uh maybe there's an easier way to do it um with respect to we maybe you don't have to do a union file maybe you could just create the graph in, or something like that and then walk the graph or something but i don't know you go always because you could always walk the graph later instead of doing it live in union um but mm, i don't know uh let me know what you think let me know how you did um that's all i have uh so stay good stay healthy to good mental health there's only a couple of days left so let's finish this month i'll see you later and take care bye bye